Greetings and salutations. Thank you for clicking on the video. This is a sneak peek at Ubuntu 1610, scheduled to be released in the middle of October. We're going to take a look at the Beta 2, which came out just a couple of days ago. A lot of the children on YouTube who talk about Linux are doing just that, and they're looking at all the various beta releases for all of the Ubuntu spins. I have chosen to take a look at just regular Ubuntu with the Unity desktop, and this will probably be the only one that I'm going to look at simply because of the fact this is an interim release, and it will only be supported for nine months, and unless you have a really good reason for upgrading from 1604 to 1610, then you probably want to stay where you're at. A lot of the new improvements that you will find in 1610 will probably be backported to 1604 in the not too distant future anyway. But it's kind of fun to take a look around. It looks and acts just like Ubuntu 1604. There is not much new to see here at all. It's mainly just software upgrades and there were a few little things that I found interesting that we will talk about. So let me go ahead and jump over here to my notes. First of all, the installer offers to upgrade and it has many upgrade options because when I installed this I already had a virtual machine called Ubuntu that was running 16.04 and I just installed this over top of it. I chose to completely repartition the disk and blow everything out of that virtual machine and start over but uh, we can upgrade Ubuntu in place here. We can uh, do all kinds of different uh, options uh, as far as upgrades are concerned. So that might be something that you would want to attempt. I always recommend that it's probably a better idea to just nuke and pave. That would mean to completely reinstall the system if you're going to be doing a major upgrade, but you can certainly give it a shot and see what happens. The virtual box drivers were working in the live DVD and once I installed it to the VM. So they are in the Linux kernel. They are modules that come with the Linux kernel 4.8, which is what Ubuntu 16.10 will ship with. However, you do get very limited functionality with just those kernels running, and you probably will want to go ahead and install the VirtualBox drivers one way or the other so that you can take full advantage of things like shared folders and copy and paste and all that. But the video drivers do seem to work right out of the box, so if you just want to look around, you don't have to fool around with that at all. There were 308 updates that I had to install once I installed the beta, and this beta version has only been out for a couple of days or so. The release notes are available here, and I'm going to put the link in the description to this video so you yourself can go check them out. They also have links there where you can download the beta too if you want to play with that yourself and the updated packages include uh, Linux kernel 4.8 and it's uh, going to be on the 4.8 series of kernels. The GPG binary is now provided by GNU PG2. I'm not exactly sure what that does. It has something to do with the uh, GNOME desktop I believe so getting a different version of that. Uh, LibreOffice 5.2 has been updated to 5.2. That's what it says. Ubuntu now uses the GTK3 version by default. Update Manager now shows change log entries for PPAs too. That's nice. Apps provided by GNOME have been updated to at least 3.2.0 and many apps have been updated to 3.2.2 also. 3.2.2, the GTK theme is going to be a long-term support GTK so I'm sure the Ubuntu folks wanted to jump to that because that's going to be around for a long time until they move to GTK 4. System D is now used for user sessions. System sessions had already been provided by System D in previous Ubuntu releases and we got some issues. Of course they are to be expected since this is a beta release and boot initialization and post install Booting the CD on UEFI hardware, hardware may fail to complete. That does that in 16.04 as well, so I don't see a big change there at all. Some EC2 instance types are not currently booting due to changes in the way that EXT4 file systems are created in Yakety. 
all instance types are expected to boot by release. So if you're having that problem, it doesn't work on the beta, they should get it all figured out by then. When I installed my beta, I'm actually using the ext2 file system in the virtual machine and not ext4, and the installation went as I thought it would. And finally, uh, GTK plus 3.20 requires theme developers to make changes to their themes. Many but not all popular themes are now compatible with GTK 3.20. It is not possible to add an account in online accounts. Well, that's kind of interesting. So there is a bug that they're going to have to work on before the official release. If you don't use that online accounts, then no big deal right because I don't use that stuff if you do it that's fine you could jump to the beta if you wanted to now here's the question should you jump to a beta or should you jump to Ubuntu 1610 from Ubuntu 1604 well my personal opinion is is that if you're currently using Ubuntu 1604 any flavor and it is working nicely for you do not change the 1610 release, as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, is an interim release. It means that it will only be supported for nine months. And so therefore, after nine months, you will have to upgrade to 1704 or do something because they will quit supporting this after nine months. But if you have a situation where you absolutely positively need to have the very latest, latest kernel and the latest packages, for whatever reason, here's a way to get them all in one shot. Many of the improvements that they make during the life cycle of a long-term support release like 1604 show up in the interim releases and then they are backported into 1604 or the long-term support release as time goes on. So keep that in mind. If it's working fine for you, you'll probably end up with the new features they develop here anyway at some point down the road. So that is going to do it. I mean, really, there is just not much more to talk about. It's got Unity 7 on it. That's the desktop. Other than that, there's really not a whole lot to say about this release of Ubuntu. It works exactly the same way as Ubuntu 16.04. I am curious to note, well, it would be Firefox 49, of course, because I have already updated it. I should have checked that before I updated all the packages whether it ships with uh, Firefox 48 or 49 but of course that will be caught in the updates as soon as you boot it up and now I have elected to launch Firefox and it's taking forever to actually open up in this virtual machine there it is okay great just to see what we're getting here I'm pretty sure no this is Firefox 48 in here it did not upgrade to 49 that's interesting Hmm. Well, that might be another thing that they're going to have to stick into the repositories for the official release. 49 was released for Firefox just a week or two ago and probably didn't make the feature freeze. So you'll be getting that when the actual release becomes official coming up in a week or two. So this is it. That's it. Yes, please close the tabs. Thank you very much. We'll take a quick look at the wallpapers I mean something might have changed there sometimes those can be rather interesting to look at so under appearance see what we get here that was kinda cool Uh, they're essentially the same wall. I don't even see anything different from 1604, so maybe they haven't brought those in yet. Of course, I haven't paid too much attention to the wallpapers available in 1604 myself, but this is the one that I usually use in 1604, so that hasn't changed quite yet. Maybe we'll have to wait for the official release to get ourselves some new wallpapers. Anyhow, there you go, gang. That is a very quick sneak peek at Ubuntu 1610 Yakety Yak which will be released officially here sometime in the middle of October. Thank you for looking at the video. Be sure and check out freedompenguin.com for cool stories about Linux. Also check out Easy Linux on the web if you'd like me to work with you one-on-one -on -one to get Linux started on your hardware. 
And also check out Easy Linux on Facebook. And if you do, would you give it a like? I certainly would appreciate it. Talk to you again soon.